and you're still His walking towards him. Open wide and wild. Uh, and slightly looking off at the No, side. sir. His mouth was formed in a uh, wide. Yo, so guys, Prince Charming, we are checking out another stay quiet challenge, creepy, creepy stories. So yeah, only 1% of people are gonna pass. So hopefully you pass, because I know I'm gonna pass. Are you gonna pass? Because uh, hmm, I only take dubs. So we're watching two scary animations that's by Llama Arts, but it's narrated by, no, it's narrated by Nightmare, animated by Llama Arts. So it's, we're watching two of those today. Creepy stories. Do not get creeped out. Don't get scared. Try not to get scared. The whole gist. Let's get it, guys. Don't forget to be able to like, subscribe, and comment a fear that you overcame. I used to really be afraid of the dark, like really deathly afraid. Like I could not sleep without some sort of light. But now I can sleep in complete total darkness in an apartment alone and I will be completely fine. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out this try not to get scared, stay quiet challenge. I can't speak, but let's go ahead and watch this video. Try not to get creeped out. The Smiling Man. Ooh, About creepy. five years ago, <laughs> I lived downtown in a major city in the US. I've always been a night person. So I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. That's nice, I'm not gonna lie. years like that, walking alone at night, I never once had a reason to feel afraid. Yeah, that's pretty chill, walking alone at night. I used to joke with my roommates that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. Boy, drug dealers are supposed to be polite. It was a Wednesday. Polite. Somewhere between they want repeat one customers, and right? Morning, and I was walking near a police patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. You go through Central the Perk park, as park. It was most nights, was completely empty. You can get robbed, I went dude. down a short side street in order to loop back down my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street, uh, was the silhouette of a man dancing. It was a strange <laughs> dance. This boy jigging. To a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd uh, 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 <laughs> I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me. Okay, that's good that you gave him the majority of the side of the road to pass you. I still wouldn't go down that direction if I saw a man jigging like that, like he had a mental illness, bro. Like, I'm good. I don't need to go down that street that badly, bro. Like, mm -mm -mm -mm. he looking like Gumby, bro. Do y'all see the way he's flailing his arms? This man look like he has no skeletal system. <laughs> he look like he really just made out of dough. <laughs> the closer he got, the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. Oh wow, that is graceful. He was very tall and lanky, and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still, until I could make out his face. And you're still his walking towards him. wide and wild. Uh, and slightly looking off at the No, side. sir! His mouth was formed in a uh, wide cartoon of a smile. Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. He's gonna I run after my you. Eyes off of him to cross the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back. And he's and running he after you. Dead in my tracks. He what? Stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. Stop! What are you doing? Leave me alone. He's me, but still looking skyward. No, you see, at that point, if this dude was right in front of me, looking like the Joker, like that. I mean, Bucky, bro, I'm done. I'm gone. I'm turning into the Flash. Why is this man just doing a random walks down a dark street all by himself? Do you not have a job in the morning? You don't have a nine to five? Bro, how do you pay your bills? You have a pretty nice suit on. <laughs> man, so many questions that need answers. Why are you so smiley, bro? Life is not that wonderful, bro. Life is very sad and depressing. You shouldn't be smiling this much. Smile still wide on his lips. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. And you're still staring at him. I started walking again, but kept my eyes on the man. He's following he didn't you. Move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. Oh no. In the briefest of moments, I felt relieved. Oh no. Until I noticed him. 
He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. Oh my gosh! I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadow. Oh, he's in running stance. I'm certain he was facing me. He's in running stance. He's in a sprint. I away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked and I stood there for some time, staring at him. And then he started moving toward me again. And you're still staring, bro. Giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps, as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Except oh my gosh! Very quick. Oh my gosh! I'd like to say at this point that I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. He did it. He stood there. He just stood there. Frozen, as the smiling man crept toward me. Do y'all see this man? No, sir. That couldn't be me. Like you're just staring at this guy, just waiting to die. He has no good attentions, bro. Like you saw that dude tiptoeing in his Jordans right after you. Like he's a cartoon character. In my line of work, people who who act like that clearly just have no care for life, bro. <laughs> They'll kill you and not think twice about it. He stopped again, about a car length away from me. Yeah. Still smiling, his smile, still looking to the sky. Yeah. When I finally found my voice. I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I meant to ask was, what the fuck do you want? In an angry, <laughs> commanding tone. What came out was a whimper. He's scarier than you. Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice. That only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it at all. He uh, just stood there, smiling. And you're still standing there! It felt like forever. He turned around, very slowly, and dance walking away, just like that. Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I just watched him go, until he was far enough away to almost be out of sight. He's coming he back. Realized something. <laughs> this is not the last time you're going to see him. He wasn't moving away anymore, nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him got bigger and bigger. No, he was he's running. My way. He was coming back my way. The running! Next time he was running. Oh! Oh! Why did that just send chills down my body? No, I can't do this, bro. Yo, he is running full sprint at this dude, man. Like, this is crazy. This is not something I can do. I personally cannot just sit or stand around while this man is just just creeping me out like this either i'm gone or i'm never here this man is hitting that full sprint on you bro even if you run now you're not gonna get away because this man got some long legs so he got a long stride so he is fetching you very easily oh my yeah, gosh too. i ran until i was off the side road and back onto a better lit road with sparse traffic looking behind me then he was nowhere to be found the rest of my way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, but he was never there. He escaped from a mental facility. I lived in that city for six months after that, and I never went out for another walk. Yeah, I bet you didn't. <laughs> something about his face that <laughs> oh, God. me. Oh, gosh. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. Uh. He looked completely and utterly insane, and that's a very, very scary thing to see. Look at them eyes! Ew! Stop staring at me! So that was the Smiling Man animated. That was very creepy at the end when the guy started running towards him. That really sent chills down my body. I'm not joking. Because fam, he, he went all the way down the street, got a running start, and just came out a full sprint. The guy was still standing there, though. That's what I'm not understanding. Either you put your potassos up, or you're not there to begin with. <laughs> But hindsight is 2020. This one's called Disturbing True Snapchat Stories 2. So we watched the first one already. We're watching some more Snapchat stories. Let's get creeped out. This is a short but terrifying story of something that happened when I was Snapchatting a friend. I'm pretty young. I'm only 13, still in middle school. A girl I really liked had Ooh. just recently started snapping me selfie pictures. <laughs> we started messaging each other for a few minutes. What are you eating? One night when I was watching TV, she sent me a snap of herself laying in her bed without a caption. Ooh. She sent a message saying what's up. She sent another identical picture, this time with a caption saying not much, you? She oh, that's not her. She sent 10 seconds, so it gave me plenty of time to analyze the picture, including her bedroom in the background and the dark outline of a person standing by her window. Oh my gosh. 
Why her? Poor girl. She sent a response message saying, is that your brother by the window? She sent another identical snap, this time captioned, what do you mean? In this picture, the figure at the window was closer. Yeah, you're done for. Pressed up against the glass. Why is she sending identical photos though? Like, y'all have to have y'all signals pop up. You girls usually send identical photos when it's an old photo and they just want to, you know, they don't want to take a pic. So I'm guessing this girl's either already dead or you're not snapping the girl, bro. Because why is she sending identical photos, girl? Do you not have any other poses? I know you're white. I know you're blonde. But y'all have all those, you know, duck lips. You know, your little booty pic in the mirror. You know, y'all have a little different poses y'all can do for us. I'm over here talking about her poses. This girl's about to die. R.I.P. Um, Brittany. You look like a Brittany. We're going to call you Brittany. R.I.P. Brittany. I closed the snap before the timer even ran out so I could tell her quicker. I said, there's somebody at your window. Turn around. Yeah, it's your fault now. She opened my snap almost immediately, and then I didn't hear from her again on the app. I grew more and more worried as the minutes passed. Oh gosh. I texted her a few times to no avail. Oh gosh. I was calling her a few times to no avail as well. I didn't know her house phone number, otherwise I would have called her parents. It wasn't until midnight when I was already laying in bed that she finally texted me back. What happened? She explained the whole situation. As soon as she looked at her window and saw the person standing there, she screamed. And oh, God! Person, who turned out to be a 20-something-year-old man to open the window and oh. jump into the room. Oh. From there, she ran to her parents' room and woke her dad, who went to her room to find nothing but an open window. He just came in that room like it was his! story of mine, but it freaks me out nonetheless, knowing that the only thing that saved my friend from whatever could have happened was the fact that I was able to see the window through her selfies oh, she announced to the creeper at her window. She better smash you now. You saved her life. <laughs> so that was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, that was really creepy. He literally just opened the window and jumped in like he, he, he rents the room, like he owns that house. Boy, uh, that's why you need to carry a shotgun in the house, boy. A shoddy on deck <laughs> but let me know if those were creepy to you you know i i kind of get creeped out very easily so chills just tend to run down my spine more naturally than others but man oh man that man was on snapchat trying to get him some and he saved her life she better let my boy hit now he literally saved her life like it better she better give him some but don't forget to be able to like subscribe and comment on this video for an apply for me, it's truly prince charming my name is prince of Hawkins. stay charming my friends